Hey everyone, welcome to the floating colony! Galberg in Flotsam, we're back and today we're gonna keep improving our colony, hopefully produce a little bit more food and water and we're gonna try to keep our colony floating. So, we need more water and food but we also want to make sure we are producing some more food. So, I'm actually considering building, for example, another food truck because you can only have one thing out to queue at a time, so I think having two of these at the same time will make it possible for us to keep at least doing two different foods at the same time, and I do think I'm gonna do the same with our fish washer. So I'm gonna have another one. I really wish that one fish washer could just take whatever and do them, but uh, this is the way the game works at the moment. So, instead of micromanaging and going back and forth, I'm gonna make some new buildings. So let's look around. We need to have another fish washer. And let's see how big this is gonna be. We can squeeze it in here, but I wonder if we should. I'm kind of leaning towards adding a little walkway in the back between these buildings. Which is maybe not gonna really have any, serve any big purpose, but uh, I just think that could be kind of nice to have. So maybe we have it like that, and then we can add in a little fish washer. Maybe we can have it, yeah, let's have it over here, that's gonna be good. And then we're also going to make another one of these uh, food tracks, which we need a few more metal plates to do that one. So I'm just going to put out the auto queue and we're going to check inside of here how many we have set up to have auto queued uh, to be always make those. So I don't think I have a value on these yet, so let's see, where do I have it? I'm over here, so let's put that to like 10. I don't think we're ever going to need more than 10 at a time, so that's going to be pretty neat. And we can do the same thing with a few other things. So I'm just gonna set up like the base foods to 15, so we're never gonna like do more than that for the food. But on every type that we got here pretty much. So that will ensure that we are never doing, you know, way too many things. We don't wanna waste time on it. And 15 might even be too much, but depending on what fish we get, we may need to have it set up to 15. So I think it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so there we go. That's gonna be pretty good. So, in uh, the one we had over here, we out here to do the gobbler fillet. But this one over here, since we have a lot of these unbottled fillet, I'm gonna out queue that one. And we do have two now. I might still be doing a little bit of micromanagement between the different uh, fish washers. But at least I can switch both of them to the opposite one later on. So I can switch these two down to these two whenever we need to do so. So, for, for example, if we need to have a little bit of bird chow, I, I think we're pretty fine with it still. That's where it's our seagulls eating little Steven over here. And today we're also gonna name a person, so Bob over here. We're gonna change his name and his name is gonna be Jonah. Welcome, welcome Jonah. I hope you can have an amazing time here. So food is uh, increasing and uh, I feel like water has been pretty stable for quite some time. So I feel like we are doing fairly, fairly good. And here's our beautiful little seagull Steven flying around. That one is looted, and uh, this one is looted as well. So let's look around on the map and see if we want to maybe move our boat for a bit. Because we don't have a lot of things over here. So I'm gonna go all the way over here. That's gonna have loads of different flotsam. We're gonna have a little bit more fishes, some seaweed, we got polluted woods, and we also have wrecked cars on the rocks. So this is gonna be a great place to salvage some beautiful, good resources and tasty ones as well. And hopefully make, you know, not too much polluted food. So here we have a little bit of wood. It looks like we are gonna need that. Wood burns up really quickly. Like when you're doing a lot of firewood, it goes really quickly. I think we'll need to have one boat. That's like a short travel to go to. And over here, let's have uh, maybe one boat as well. Maybe two, I guess. And over here we can have one. Every boat can loot 10 items. So I feel like you, it's not very often that you need to have more than one if there's like so few items. So I'm going to send one boat to that, that will be two trips to the polluted woods to loot it all. There's going to be some good, good dry wood. And over here we have the wrecked cars on the rocks. So this one has some batteries, some metal scrap, a little bit of electric scrap, and a little bit of dry wood as well. And let's send two boats over to loot all these beautiful things. That's going to be great. But over here we also have some fishes, and I do want to make sure we are fishing those up. 
Let's see, can we reach that one? That's very far away. I think there were one more with fishes. But it wasn't too far away. Here we got one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I think that's a good start. I guess we can set up another one over here. And another one over here. Fourteen food and twelve in water. I do think we want to try to get this colony pretty big as well. So I want to get more and more people. I want to get more and more seagulls. Because you kind of challenge yourself at the same time. We can produce and be doing a lot of more things at the same time. But we also will require more of everything. So it's um, adding a little bit kind of to the challenge for yourself as well. To have more people. Because you have to have food, water. You have to have supplies for firewood to produce the water. And you have to be quick about the going around the ocean. So now we can make another food truck. So this one. Ah, I can't squeeze it in there. Okay. I might... Uh, okay, it wouldn't have worked there anyway. Okay. I think I'm gonna move this one. Because I think a food truck could sit here. This will be like the little food district corner. I'm gonna try to destroy this one. And I guess we can make some new ones in between here. Because that's gonna be able to have a few. So maybe we can put one like over here. And uh, we can make some small ones as well. We are gonna try to set them up as well so they, they hold the things we want them to hold. So let's see what foods we want to do here. We have Gobbler Roll. This one needs Seaweed Sheet and also Gobbler Filet. Then we have uh, Quarter Flounders. I think we're gonna do this one and that one. The, like that's the, the things we are washing currently in here. So that makes a lot of sense. So that's what we're gonna do. But we do need some more seaweed sheets for both of those. And those we can make over here. And we don't have so much raw seaweed at the moment. But I wonder if we have a lot of seeds for them. Because we can turn the seeds into new seaweed. Raw seaweed. Oh yeah, we do have quite a few seeds. So um, let's go ahead and maybe make another seaweed grower. That's gonna be very useful. I'm, and I may even make two of them if I can squeeze them both in here. Awesome. So that's going to be our little farm district. We're going to have five different seaweed growers. And they kind of work on their own. We just have to go and harvest them whenever, right? And as we get more people, we can have more people able to go around and harvest them while the other people are going around an ocean. Oh, this one can go there. Awesome. So that's going to be a nice little food district. And over here we would have the farming district. And I think we're going to keep most of the power generation around this area. And I guess water generation is kind of spread out. I think we want to do another research, by the way. So we have the desalinator. Inside of the research, we can actually make a better one. So if we go inside here, we have... Um... Oh, have they removed that one? They used it to be a really, really big uh, water generator. Or have they maybe made it so you upgrade the one you have? Let's see. Okay. Uh, electric desalinator. Okay. So I wonder if maybe they have removed that one. But that would be good. Because if we produce a lot of energy instead of having to do a lot of firewood. Because like I said we are burning wood very very quickly. So if we can use maybe our solar power to fuel the water generation, that's gonna be awesome. But we do need to get some more of the metal plates. But I think our people are a little bit busy at the moment. So let's look into the priorities, because drifter duties, we can set them up however we want to have them. And Jonah, he's one of the... crafters, so he's doing a lot of that. Yeah, and also Flo. Flo and uh, Jonas do that. So I do think that we need like one or two more people to be able to do all the tasks around town. To get our town running fluid. Very smoothly. So I think we salvage most of the things we want. Let's look around. Yeah, nothing we really need. So let's bring up the map again. Because we don't really need any more plastic at the moment, so we may as well travel a bit. Ooh, another seagull I want to get at. And we got a lot of seaweed here as well, that's going to be useful. So we can grow even more. Because we do need to get us tasty little seaweed cheats so we can make even tastier food. It's going to be awesome. There's a lot of seaweed. This one, there's like four of them. 
very close by. That's awesome. So, let's go down. I want to save our little seagull friend over here. Got Steve over here. Where is he? There he is sitting. Look at him. We're gonna save him. And uh, just like before, feel free to name our seagulls. We have two seagulls to be named in the game. So do let me know if you have a beautiful name for our seagull friends and I will be adding them to the game later on. It's squeaking so much. Awesome. Now we get two of them. So they can fly around and loot wood and plastic and I think that's about what they actually do. I don't think they get any fishes for us. So we will have to fish it ourselves. There's a lot of fishes here. That's awesome. I do love how this monument looks by the way. It looks beautiful. And let's get a little bit more plastic and uh, I guess a little bit more wood. Even more fishes over there. And we're definitely going to get some more of that beautiful seaweed over there. And even more fishes. This is an insane fishing spot. And here's a lot of seaweed, but it's just outside of our boundaries, so we have to take it later on. And that is, I think, outside. Oh, we can reach it. Okay, so let's send um, two boats to that one. Or maybe three. We'll let three go there. And I wonder if it should have, like, another mooring point. Currently we have seven out of seven boats, so two of them are fishing boats. We have five sandwich boats. I think that is a pretty, pretty good amount of boats, but, you know, never hurts to have another one, I guess. So, let's maybe extend our walkway over here. And the idea is that maybe we can squeeze in more than we could if we didn't do that. So, we add that one. And uh, then we add a little beautiful... Morning point. Then we can add another one next to it and maybe a third one. I don't think it will go there though. Maybe if it's possible to adjust that one, but it's fine. We can add some storage here. So that's gonna be awesome. And look at the seagulls. They're collecting all of that beautiful treasure next to us, which means we don't always have to loot those things ourselves anymore. We can, uh, when we get enough seagulls, we can kind of rely on our seagull friends doing those things. But our food and water is dropping quite low at the moment, which I don't like. Uh, but let's queue up to do, let's see, what did we do? That one. Okay, so we're gonna do the um, on ball roll in that one, and this one we do the gobbler roll. But we also have to connect it with some powers. Let's see, where can we connect it? With this one, I guess. There we go, there we got some power. And uh, this one, I do want to upgrade it, like I said, but we do need to get some metal to do that. So I definitely feel like we do need to have either more people, or just let them work around town a bit, because this one, they haven't done anything for a while, right? I'm gonna add another walkway over here. Just so we can have a little bit quicker access, so if we come out from the ocean, so we've been out and looting things. I want to make it possible to run through here instead of to having to go around like this, right? So adding a few more walkways for faster access between different points, I think is going to be good. Here we can't really do anything because we would be blocking the mooring point, though. Okay, there we go. Now we can make a beautiful little walkway. And uh, I'm thinking of removing this one as well. And we can build a bigger one, a bigger storage here later on. Awesome, now we are making some seaweed sheet. Thank you, thank you. The man is making that. Awesome. So, let's look around. I think we have taken most of the things. We have a lot of fishing to be done still, it seems. I'm gonna get another... Maybe a third fishing boat, but no one is actually out fishing, so that doesn't make any sense anyway, right? So, we're not gonna do that. But I think it's highly time that we will upgrade our desalinator soon. Because it's gonna save us a lot of firewood, and it probably might be working faster as well. Let's read this. Remove salt from uh, seawater to generate fresh water uses electricity, so I think it may not be a big difference at all actually, but it will use electricity instead, which yeah, I think is gonna be a good thing. Okay, so now we can upgrade it. Let's see. We'll be getting upgraded soon. I have never done the upgrade for this one into electricity, so I wonder how it's gonna be looking when we do that. 
this power line over here, the energy pool, it actually have every slot of it connected now. So we have to take maybe that one instead of when we're gonna drag it down to our desalinator when it's upgraded. Okay, so not everyone got water today, but I think it's gonna be fine. I'm hoping that we will get some more water soon. They just have to upgrade this one. We're pretty much waiting for them to do it at this point. Uh, but maybe move our colony a bit. I think we may have quite a bit of fishes, so we may not need to gather more at the moment. Let's see how many we have. 35 and 21. Yeah, we don't need any more fishes. 105 uh, bottle fishes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Yeah, we don't need more fishes. It's time to move the boat and we're gonna go towards some new people. So let's just keep going as far as we can. Okay, so we can make a quick little stop here and regenerate some power and um, we can send like two boats over to the polluted woods for now. It feels like they should be pretty quick with building and upgrading this one because we do have high port mobile through and bubbles. I'm gonna increase the priority a little bit for everyone because building is such a short task anyway, right? So we may as well have it pretty high for everyone. But it seems no one wants to do it, which is kind of strange. We have everything for it, so I don't know, something might be bugging up with priorities, I guess. I'm thinking I'll do another one over here, somewhere. Just in case that one is gonna be stuck in a limbo. So I'm gonna do one over here, yeah, so we can ensure that we can keep producing while we're waiting for that one to be upgraded. So this one we're building directly, it seems. almost feels like upgrading has a lower priority co compared to like building a building. But it should be the same priority in here, right? There's nothing else related to that. It would be if it's called crafting at workshop, but that's totally wrong according to the name at least. It maybe could be hauling duties, but I don't think that's it is that either. Yeah, but let's activate this one and uh, start producing the water we have to get at. So now we're generating water. Okay, let's look around at how far we can go now. We're gonna keep going towards the data drifter, which is super duper far away, but let's keep going. What we can do to generate a little bit more power quickly would be to activate our generation, our generators again. So we do have, for example, this one, our little bike over here. If they do not generate that much power though, we can see that with uh, the overlay with this one. So if we take it, activate it, and we can activate the boat itself as well. So the solar panel generate a 15 each of those. And we're probably using quite a bit of power at the moment, so maybe having them both on at the time might be a pretty good thing. 36 in power, okay that's actually pretty good. But maybe we should look into researching some better generation. So let's go inside of here and uh, let's look. We got a wood power generator. So this one we will be burning some fuel. Generate 100 eels burning firewood and I think that might be burning very very quickly. And we also have the oil power generator. So we might look into that later but for now we're gonna get the wood power generator to generate a lot of power. But we're probably not going to be running it all the time, it will be a thing that we run when we need quick power to travel around, which isn't a thing we need very often. But it seems like adding two food trucks and two fish washers has been a great great improvement to our production of things. And maybe I would add another seaweed sheet um, house, like a shop shop, to make more of that. But at the same time, at the moment it looks like we don't have enough raw seed for it, so... So let's keep going now, 2,000 away still. We can make a little stop here next to the seaweed, let's do that. Because we will both be getting spores and also raw seaweed, so that's really awesome. 
So we're gonna send uh, two boats to that one. And then we can send another boat over there. And like I said, I don't think we need any more fishes for now. We have so much, like the bottle fishes. We have so many of those. And I might be getting another solar panel. They take a lot of space though, that's the only downside with them really. But uh, the work they do is pretty valuable. But they do take um, quite a big chunk of space in town. But we do need to make some more solar panels if we can do some more, so let's queue up to do a few more. We don't have much electric scrap at the moment, so we would have to loot more of that if we want it. So let's see, not all drifters got water. But I think we're pretty fine. Looks like we're pretty fine. So let's see, have to upgrade this one. Still waiting for a drifter. Let's try to change it and disable it. And then click upgrade. There might be some weird thing with it. Mm, there we go. Now they're delivering resources. So maybe that's what we had to do. We had to even shut it off ourselves. We don't, so it couldn't do that on itself, it seems. Ooh. Oh yeah, so this is the kind of the old one, how it used to look. So let's click this one. Electric desalinator, so we're gonna connect some power from this power line to that one. There we go, and now we're gonna be able to produce water. And I'm kind of interested to see how much water we're gonna be able to produce. I'm gonna cancel this one. And try to have folks on this one and see how fast it's producing water. So it seems to be actually pretty slow. I'm considering upgrading this one as well. We may as well do that. And we can connect it with... Um, hmm. I think we're gonna need like maybe another power energy pole. Let's do one maybe around there. Then we can maybe take that one and connect it to that one. But how much power is it using? 30, okay, so that's quite a bit of power. A very, very hungry water power generator. Okay, let's connect to this, to that, and this, to this one. So this one did build really quickly, but let's put to have that on. Which means we can take the fuel that we use it to put into the desalinator and put it into a wood power generator instead. And use that to produce the power that we need for the desalinators. I don't know why they're actually biking since we have power in it, so I'm not sure why they are actually biking at the same time though. It feels like that kind of goes against what you're doing. <laughs> because you already have power supplied to it, right? But it could be a very, very temporary thing. Uh, but since we have a lot of power generation over here, I feel like it would make sense maybe to have it nearby. But at the same time, it makes no sense to have it nearby where you are making a lot of food. So I think that's not a good idea, so... So instead, I'm gonna have that one... Maybe nearby the boat, so we'll have that. Yeah, let's do that. But I'm gonna add another power line, so we will have to have at least one. Let's have one over there, and another one maybe over here. And let's keep going towards new person. So guys, if you have a name for the bird, and also for the new drifter that we're gonna get. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl at the moment, but when we get there, you guys are gonna be able to drop some names and I will uh, select a few ones that can join us. So do let me know with names. Okay, let's see. Over here we have a girl. It is a floats well, so she's floating really well. So before the flood, she were a survival show host. That's pretty cool. We drink practically anything from the higher ratings, including the own urine. It was a different time, yes. That do sound like bear grills, doesn't it? He did that, I'm pretty sure he did. Post flood became a rune diver. With a single breath, this drifter explores the sunken ruins, skyscrapers, and other structures located next to reasonably convenient sources of air. Okay, awesome. So, athletics, research, and we got desalination and sandwiching. So that's gonna be awesome. Let's send the boat over to s save a float swell. 
so feel free to name floats well. Okay, so we got our wood power generator. Let's connect it up. Let's hook it up. Yeah, we can make another connection on our main boat. So there we go, guys. We got all of the connections to the wood power generator. So now we just have to turn it on as well. Oh, it is on already. Okay. So, maximum inventory. Okay, so you can set up how much uh, you want to have inside of it. And I wonder how fast it's going to burn. I do think it's going to burn quite fast. But we can also make another solar panel if you want to. And that one can be squeezed in here, so let's have it here. But this one is going to be able to generate an insane amount of uh, energy. And when we're filling energy, we may need to turn this off ourselves. Because I think it may keep working when it doesn't need to keep working. So we have to pay a close eye on that. We don't want to pollute the world anymore than we need to. And uh, we don't want to waste fuel. So another one joined us. We already had a bend for that, but let's upgrade maybe some more houses to both make them more cozy and beautiful. Like, look at that smoke coming out for that one. Compared to the old buildings, we can upgrade them as well. So they can support the more people living at them. So this building and this one is getting some new people to move in with them. During the night, a campfire was spotted. A survivor might need our help, but a waypoint has been added. Okay. Let's see how far away that may be. 2,000, so that's not very far away. So you will see that I'm gonna be increasing the amount of population we have quite rapidly now, compared to before. That's kind of my plan, at least up to a certain amount of people. So we can be very productive. Uh, but let's collect a little bit of seaweed, definitely gonna need more of that to produce the food we need. And the water is probably gonna go a bit better now that we have uh, two new electric desalinators producing water. And uh, what we can also do is to add uh, more boats, because we made some mooring points, so we can have two more salvaging boats. And uh, let's see for the fish. I think we're pretty good with fishes still. I guess we can fish up a few ones, so we don't totally run out of it. So the next research I'm gonna do in the research panel, I wanna get the large storage yard. This is where we can store 120 items. It looks like a small boat. So that's gonna be awesome, and I think we may need to go inside of here and tweak a few values that we had kept for a long time. So I'm gonna keep the floaters to like 50. We go in way beyond what we used to have, and we can have 30 planks. Ah, uh, maybe not 30, maybe 20. We can have uh, 10 ropes, not that much more, and we can have 20 of those. Water go up to 40. Let's change all these to like 25 maybe. Okay, I'll swap it around a few things. We can keep more of the food as well. Uh, so let's see how we're doing. Is our uh, wood power generator on at the moment? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it's on at least. Uh, I don't think it's producing any power at the moment. I'm not sure why. I guess they just haven't delivered anything to it. Uh, but then we got the solar panel, the new one connected as well. Let's keep going towards the next person. And um, I guess we may as well make a quick stop over here. And let's loot our little shack town over here as well for some good, good food and wood and. Metal, that's gonna be great. And I do think we're like wood and the plastic at the moment. We don't really have to focus that at all. We already have so much of it. But a little bit more fish as we can get. And we're gonna send two boats over there and we could do the same there. Not sure if we're gonna fish it all up this time, but uh, we could do so, I guess. We do have. Oh, we don't. Okay, I was thinking of adding another fisher boat. We can have three then. But are we gonna go with two then? Uh, let's queue that up. Up and now and then instead. We're gonna get some fish food for them. 
Gotta get some seagull food. Ooh, wow, look at that. 18 in water and 10 in food. We are doing much better now. That's awesome to see. That is awesome. And let's research the large storage yard. And I think I'm gonna just keep going for the new person over here. I, may, I know we may be missing out a little bit of fishes and so on, but there's plenty of fishes in the sea over here, so it's gonna be good. I think we're gonna new, move to a new world maybe after this as well. So here we have another U-boat. Oh, hello U-boat. U-boat number two, how are you doing? Got some pretty cool beard and a uh, beautiful hat on his head. He used to be an, an hipster brewer before the flood. Later he became a ghost ship hunter. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Experience the brewer with the discrimination. Experience the brewer with an discriminating tastes. Survived the first floods because they didn't follow the main streams. Oh, well done for being the hipster brewer. <laughs> And later became the ghost ship hunter. Keeping a little salt in your pockets will ward off ghosts, spirits and other assorted uh, apparitions. Keeping a lot of it salt in your pockets will have the opposite effect and quickly becomes very unpleasant. Yeah. So we're gonna save him as well. So guys, we have one girl to be named, we have one guy to be named, we have two seagulls to be named. So do let me know with names and because we have a very high possibility to be named in our town now. But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Flotsam. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys soon soon again in the next video or live streams. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day. Take care.